1600 from Maria to Matt, and he will make the call. Oh my goodness. Matt Berkey with the dream card on the river. Maria's hand does seem much too good to check here, so she will go for extra value. Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. It's up to you to stop him. All right, there is a look at our chips around the table. As we said, Matt Berkey, the big winner on the evening thus far, doing some bluffing, won a big pot off of Paul Kuzmich when he backdoored Broadway. Blinds are 50 and 100 oh, with a big blind ante of 100 as well. A Mike lot. Nori opening our action with the 5 4 hearts going up to 300. So Potato has raised. And we get a call by Matt. Toby thought he had it for like a hot day. Barry will go away. Barry's no, Mr. Malibu from Malibu, California. Oh, Kitty, professional player out of Vegas, goes out as well. So two way action. Sixes versus the 5 4. Flop is an ace, deuce, deuce, two hearts. Quite a flop for Mike Norrie's 5 4 of hearts. He bets 400, receives the call from Matt Berkey. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Mike continues the betting, and this one will drive Matt Berkey out. Yeah, the potato's 32 years old, lives in LA, mixed game specialist. Says he got it started playing poker after watching season one of the World Poker Tours. And that was two decades ago. Oh, I remember those years. It was appointment television on Wednesday nights. Maria Ho raises our straddled pot up to 500. Matt Berkey has the same hand in hearts. He will three bet to 2,000 actually unbelievable that it's even gotten to this point. Maria Ho lives in Los Angeles, top professional poker player. If social media didn't exist as well, like people would have just taken it. So Maria will make this call. Heads up and a king 10-10. Interesting flop for these two hands. Both players open-ended with a backdoor flush draw. And that will slow down and check this flop. Maria will check it back. 10 of clubs on the turn, quite an interesting card. Maria now with the open-ended straight flush draw, a royal flush draw, in fact. But Matt will start the betting for 2,500, trying to bluff his way out of this one. We know he's bluffing into essentially the same hand. Maria does make this call. And the eight of clubs on the river will give her a flush, but a difficult one to value bet following Matt's check as it is so easy for him to have a full house. So she will check behind and be happy to see that wow. Matt's queen jack is no good there. And Rhea collects a nice pot. I had the tennis spades. Mike Nori admitting to folding quads. All right, action to Kitty. Quick fold by her into the potato. Potato out. And there is Paul Kuzmich, the Hollywood caterer, lives in Austin, and he's got a solid ace king and has raised it up. Barry getting in the mix with queen six offsuit, and he does outflop Paul here on nine eight six all clubs. Both players check this monotone board, king of diamonds on the turn. So now the caterer has kings. Barry with sixes. And the caterer will bet, looks like 500. River card is a queen. That gives two pair to Mr. Malibu Barry. You guys might be neighbors. I think we are. And Barry will lead out with his river two pair for 1500. And you see that look of concern on Paul's face, sensing that this rivered queen 
Improved Barry somehow, perhaps with Jack-10, King-Queen. We know it's Queen-6, so he will call and get the bad news. Barry's Queen-6 rivers the superior hand. Uh, two pairs? Two pairs. For Barry Woods? So nothing really happening for Paul. He's going the wrong way, but Barry Woods looking good. I wasn't a coffee drinker for, like, the longest time, and then I finally caved, and now I'm coffee all the time. That's why I wasn't yeah. either. Didn't drink coffee now. We have a, what, the, not the, yeah, I guess an espresso. espresso pods. There's one yeah. called the double espresso with Chiaro or something. It was one of the pods. Yeah. So make I make that every morning, and with, uh, like, 12 ounces of milk, and three Sweden laws, so it's not really having coffee, right, right. Exactly. but it's that's I take that every morning. I'm quite the coffee addict myself, Vince. My morning does not start before I get my coffee. These are little details you just can't find out any other place than the World Poker Tour. Potato likes coffee as well. Yes, he does, and he likes his 10 8 of diamonds enough to call the three bet, and what a flop for his hand. The run bad for Paul continues here as he flops top pair, top kicker, but Mike Norrie, oh. bottom two pair. Caterer's gonna get his finger burnt on the stove. Yes, he is. Mike Norrie will check raise up to 3,900. 10 behind Mike? Uh, 9, 9,500-ish. And Paul inquiring about how much Mike has behind, not a good sign. All in. Call. All right, all Set. In. He's gonna move no, all in, and an instant call from Mike Norrie. We gotta show him now. So as we can see, Paul in bad shape here, but not drawing dead. He is 31% to win the twice hand. They're going to run it twice, so... Two times. Some possibility that Paul will improve. Well, they're going to hedge their bets a little bit. You can't do this in a tournament. That's the beauty of a cash game. Now, deuce of diamonds on the turn for the first one, and a six of hearts, so Potato is going to win the first one. We'll do it one more time. Queen of hearts and four of hearts, nice so time. Mike Norrie will scoop the whole uh... thing. Paul's run bad continues here. No right. luck for the caterer. 13, 13, 575. But there is a rumor that he scored very big last night in Baccarat and Roulette, won some big numbers. Ooh, I can always root for someone against the house. He's getting out some more money, more chips. I just uh, pay out all my condo in Taiwan. And I said, like, I didn't know the rate is so low. It's like 1.3. Oh, that's really? it? Yeah. That's yeah. so low. Yeah. Get, get, get the loan back. You get raped here right. compared to that. Like, I, it's money like invested. 3 to 5%. Probably, oh, my friends say, like, why are you so stupid? Pay all your loan. I said, I didn't know it's so low. It's like free. Paul <laughs> raised up know, right? the queen nine of spades on the cutoff. Maria on the button right behind. Three vets to 1,800 with ace 10 and the 10 of spades. Barry and Potato go away. Paul, pretty desperate now, but we're gonna make this call and see a flop. Here it is, it's a Jack-Jack-7. Neither player connects, but Maria, with the lead, will continue the betting for 1,200. Now, Paul does have a little piece here, three to a straight, three to a flush. Makes the call. He could mix and check raises as well. We saw Matt Berkey do something like that in an earlier pot where he rivered Paul. Ace on the turn. We'll lock up this pot for Maria. She'll check it back just in case Paul is slow playing a jack. Nine on the river. So that gives Paul nines. That's bad. Yeah, not a good river for Paul. He may end up calling a river bet for Maria now that he's improved. Let's see how Maria sizes this. It's 2,200. Well-sized bet. And the caterer, he's saying, I made a bad meal here. This is not working out. I got to look at it, though, and you're not going to like it. So there you go. So things working out there for Maria Ho. Yeah, Paul running bad early, getting a little sticky here on this river with the optimistic call on the River 9. Maria with the well-sized river bet to extract a little extra. Meow. Oh, then there's some cat talk here yeah, by some Kitty. cat calls meow. over here, Vince. <laughs> meow is call. The one meow. thing I needed to do on my phone, I didn't and, uh, do. Meow, meow is a race, OK? <laughs> yeah. Text your wife? No. <laughs> so three ways going to this flop, and it is queen, 10, deuce. When are there going to be little Norries running around? Not anytime soon. How old are you? 32. Do you have a girlfriend? Wife. Wife? 
Yeah. Where's your ring? Uh, don't don't say me. Yeah, where's your ring? <laughs> I'm allergic. Allergic? You know, I buy like. She's uh, allergic to husbands. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I buy the Amos the jewelry. Like it was a 14k the bracelet, right? Yeah. And I was in Taiwan to LA airport. I lost it. I'm not a person for the jewelry. I just lost all the stuff. 14k. I just buy in two days. And gone. Gone. Yeah. So just buy the watch. Watch you never lose because the watch is too big. Yeah. Right? So the bet of 1600 from Maria to Matt, and he will make the call. Oh my goodness. Matt Berkey with the dream card on the river. Maria's hand does seem much too good to check here, so she will go for extra value. It is about half pot for 2800 Matt. And it's going to slide out a raise of 17,000. Never a good sign when someone just pulls a huge rack of chips out and indiscriminately cuts out a huge raise. Maria has to be concerned that she's run into a full house or King Jacks. She does get away there. Nice fold for Maria, recognizing that a full house or a King Jack better than her ace queen. So Matt Berkey continues his profitable ways. Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. It's up to you to stop him. Okay, quick fold by Matt. And then we're into the caterer who is going to raise to 300 with King 5. Maria out. Barry's going to call. Mike Nori is in, and he flopped bottom set here on his deuces. Paul could be in trouble yet again. Top pair running into a set. Two pair again? Even worse, Paul. Two pair. That's a really good hand right now. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. But it costs a lot of money. Now Paul going to check back, save himself some money here. And a jack on the river could also save him some money as there's now four to a straight out there. So Mike will bet his bottom set for a thousand. Paul makes the call and receives the bad news. A king nine, I'm the best. Wow. Paul minimizes the damage, checking back on the turn there. Nice hand. Thank you. Mike Nori has a World Series of Poker bracelet. $1,500 no limit hold'em game. Says he started playing poker after watching season one of the World Poker Tour. Mixed game specialist, pretty happy-go-lucky at the table. Well, Barry's going to try to do it here with ace, king of diamonds, makes it 700 to go. Kitty with jack, nine of clubs, making it 2,100. Barry has four bet ace, king, some tonight, but just going to call this time. And a king, queen, seven flop will give him top pair, top kicker. Kitty with a little piece here, gut shot, and a backdoor flush draw. She'll bet 1400 And Barry just going to call. Turn is the ace of clubs. So now that gives Kitty a four flush. Barry with a curious little donk bet here of 500 With aces and kings. And Kitty. Raises it up. That card really hits her range a little more than Barry's, but he just moves all in on her. So Kitty, with the disastrous result, trying to turn her hand into a bluff and with plenty of equity, but now faces a jam from Barry, who's reaching into the bag for his prop. Oh, wow. <laughs> he is going to put that thing on. Honors the carrot top right there. He's flipping it around. Wow, versatile. <laughs> this is what happens when you get retired and you play a lot of poker. <laughs> <laughs> Give a meow in there. Meow. Oh, wow. 
Meow, meow. I'm alive. First time, bluff. <laughs> they get all you there. Oh, it's bluff. Obviously, I'm not calling. I was like, first time, bluff. And then get it all in there. Thank you for advice. Know, sorry, yeah. Can we see a river? Yeah. Can we see a river? Pain, mass Torture. pain. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Pretty disastrous result for Kitty, who, <laughs> no, as it turns out, would have missed, so at least there's that. First time I ever got a buff. He always had Oh, those hands were supposed to be in the inverse. I was like, <laughs> the soaker on the tin car. <laughs> Kitty gonna get this episode an NC-17 rating. Wash your mouth out, young lady. I like the way Barry plays, puts a lot of pressure. Good, solid play. Oh, to me, I'm sorry. I don't want those solo people. I was like, F I was like, sitting there first time. <laughs> people get so offended by slow rolls, and I'm, I never have been offended by that. Really? Why? Yeah, cause I don't. I mean, like, I would never do it, but I don't like if somebody wants to slow roll me, like. That's... Like, but for what? To what end? Like, I mean, it's for their own. Personal. Matt making the call to King Eight of Diamonds in position here, and we get a 10-7-4 monotone heart flop. Barry, the only one holding a heart, checks over to Matt. Who bets 200? Barry will make the call, of course, and we see the five of diamonds on the turn. I don't agree with it, but I'm also, I don't get, like, I'm not going to be upset Potato by it. Potato discussing yeah. the slow roll. I, I, he says he doesn't I mean, mind when someone slow rolls him. Not and a slow roll me, right. I will be very angry. Like, because I see the, 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 like, it shows more about their character than, like, your character. 800 like, like, from Matt like, over to that, Barry. Like, no, I agree, but just right. in You're general, like bad etiquette should not be, like, encouraged. Right, you know I, I mean, I'm, I'm so. not encouraging, I'm just saying, like, right. me personally. And a three of spades on the river leaves both players with king high. No, but Matt that. needs to bluff his way out of this one to win yet again. I get that. I don't actually think I've ever been slow rolled before. Uh, I just get firing away at that, huh? Right. You that call, call, call. Right. And Barry reluctant to give up, but with just King High and blocking one of the cards that Matt would often use to bluff with, doesn't have a great hand to call with. This would be a heck of a call if you should make this. Yeah, I ate a 5K, OK? Yes, Kitty out of 5K Kitty topping up an extra 5,000 during the hand. And Barry goes away, so Matt's bluff show one. gets through yet again. Well, I think everybody should have a turn of showing. Yeah. I've showed one. Everybody but Kitty. <laughs> what? I show yeah, two. Kitty shows two. She, she shows two. two. I show two. two what are you talking yeah. about? I show two. Yeah. I have so nice a bluff and show two car. No, against me too. We wasted our time first. <laughs> so you kind of owed us. Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. It's up to you to stop him. Vegas with Matt Berkey, our big winner on the night, but Barry Woods not far behind. Mike Nori up 11 grand, Maria Ho up about five. Paul has been taking a beating tonight, and Kitty Kuo, who is in for 30,000, down about 15 grand for the moment. What about somebody like uh, Kristen Bicknell? Who's that? No, she's not here again. Oh, he's a Blaine Kenny fan, right? Mm -hmm. Fox and yeah. Oh, the crispy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crispy. She <laughs> probably is a cocky. I'm cocky too. Anyway. Yeah, you might be number one. F you. <laughs> Mike out. Matt's gonna call with a pair of fives. Paul, taking a break. Maria Ho with the Ace King. Going up to fifteen hundred with the three bet. Barry out, Kitty calling, and Matt must see a flop. Here we go. Ace king, ace four, pair of fives. And the flop is an ace ten, deuce. Two players hitting aces. We know Maria with a big kicker in front. 
Kitty also hitting aces, and let's see what Maria does. There's the bet, 2,000. And Kitty will definitely call this. Matt gets out of the way with the fives. Kitty really needs to Ooh. improve here. A five of diamonds does give her a gut shot to the three. Good looking board for Maria here. Continues to bet, this time for 4,000. Kitty can't get away. Looking for a three to hit a wheel, but a deuce on the river. Great looking card for Maria. Less concern about running to a set now. Well, she's gonna put in a significant 6,000. And Kitty is stuck here tonight and she's gonna make a nice lay down. Gets away from there. Yeah, really? And Maria Ho gonna take down the pot. I would appeal to Kitty folded. Now Kitty, <laughs> continuing to bleed here. Having just flown in, we'll add an extra 8,000 to her Amen. stack. Well, she has heart, she's not giving up yet. <laughs> Taking out Maybe more she chips. Have tens. Ready to gamble. The glutton for punishment. It doesn't really bug you, does it? Action no. going to Matt, the Vegas local. He's got a nice I'm queen jack of hearts. Makes it 300 to go. Paul behind it with ace king of hearts. Has raised to 1,100. He needs a nice turnaround. Here's Barry with ace seven of spades. He'll make the call. Yeah, Barry potentially getting himself in some trouble with this cold call on the button with ace seven of spades. Paul dominating him with the ace king of hearts, and Matt will come along with queen jack of hearts. So three ways to this flop of ace king queen. Wow, the caterer hitting top two. Barry gonna wish he didn't make that call pre-flop in a moment here. Facing a bet of 15.50 from Paul. The Malibu with top pair making the call. Matt going away and it only gets better for the caterer. Now he's got kings full. And that's a rough card for Barry because he has to think that he is often chopping at worst with Paul. 1800 bet. Barry calling. Nice job from Paul here, keeping the bet small. Let Barry believe that he could potentially be good or chopping. Now with 10,000 in this pot on the river, how much does Paul want to bet? 6,200. So can Barry find the fold? Or will he be Paul's ATM? Like, like, so we got rid of him. Back again. Back again. Like, all over the place, you know? So like, <sighs> can I borrow your bag? Now you're looking at, does this have a guy have a king or a queen? I'm beat. I'm is. Could have had you beat. So double paired. That's right. Card might save some money. Well, I've been running on these things. I have to fold. Paul Kuzmich gonna win that hand, and Kitty Kuo is gonna call it a night. <laughs>